This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creative business owners share their wisdom. It is six questions in nine minutes because creatives have a short attention span. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. My name is Tracy Bissett, and I am the president and chief financial fitness trainer of Bissett Financial. Uh, Fitness Inc. And I am on a mission to improve the financial literacy for young adults and entrepreneurs around the globe. And the way that I do that, particularly with entrepreneurs, is I work one-on-one with them to help them get a better understanding of their money, their numbers, their financial statements, not so they can have fun with them all day long, but so that they can actually spend less time on them use them to help them grow their business, sleep better at night, and just move forward with confidence in the business that they started because they're awesome at whatever they're doing. And so I'm really passionate about that. And uh, I love helping business owners um, get that mastered. I love that. As a financial literacy advocate, we definitely have that in common. For sure. Absolutely. So tell us, what is the best thing about being in business? Oh, there's so many things. So uh, I would say I originally started my business because I've had this lifelong passion for financial literacy that we share. And uh, while there's a lot of resources out there, I was finding that it wasn't picking up a lot of traction. And so my former background is as a banker with TD Bank, um, helping entrepreneurs get the financing they need um, by doing the loan structuring, analyzing their companies, or by approving those loans. And I thought, how could I bring my passion for helping people better understand their money um, with that experience. And so I landed on um, being that chief financial fitness trainer for entrepreneurs. And I thought that it would mean that I would work a lot less, uh, which turns out I do not. Um, (laughs) But I am doing it on my terms. I'm doing it with the people I want. And um, it's really fun and really rewarding. So I, I really like being able to control who I work with. I love that. So I hear from other creative business owners that they avoid money matters like the plague. Tell me your thoughts. Absolutely. So I would totally agree with that. I would say there's kind of two camps. There's people who um, totally ignore it. And then there's people who are super stressed. Um, The more advanced business owners, they've taken the time to learn their numbers. But with the first two camps, so totally ignoring or super stressed, they don't actually know what the numbers say. And so one thing I say, um, and when we start working together is I'm a really honest individual. I give a lot of um, direct feedback and it's a waste of time to be worried about things you don't know. So let's take that first step. Let's see where you are, what your financial position is. And then, then let's see if you have to worry. And I don't really advocate worrying, but I, once we know the numbers and the situation, then you can actually take some concrete steps to make changes if you're not happy where you are. If you are pleasantly surprised, as most are, because it's never as bad as people think it's going to be, um, then you can talk about, okay, can I afford to get that help I need to help me grow my business? Can I get that new machine? Um, Can I take on some larger contracts? And it gets really exciting to see people now realize they're, they're building a small foundation of knowledge and they can use it to help them grow the business that they love and they create it out of love and their passion for whatever they're doing. I love that. I think that is one of my favorite things in being a money coach is watching people have that transformation from being scared and intimidated by the numbers to when they really understand the power of that knowledge and when they're actually excited to look at that next report instead of really dreading it. For sure. So we spend a lot of time once we go through the basics and we do an assessment of their their company and their financial performance, then we start doing some forecasting around income, expenses, cash flow, which is absolutely critical. It's the lifeblood of a business uh, for any growth. Companies are super hungry and they eat cash. So the more you have, the better. Um, But once they start working on that cash flow, then they get excited and they want to spend more time on it. And so I'm not suggesting um, to know your numbers, you've got to spend all day long on it every day. Um, but being excited about it allows you to, to come back to it every week. And um, one of the tips I give to business owners, especially those starting, um, but is a good practice for everybody, is to have a money meeting with yourself every single month. Yeah. Uh, sorry, at least once a month and then weekly, especially when you're starting, even if it's just opening your bank account and taking a look. 
even if it's figuring out the next step, how do I get my financial statements ready? Should I hire a bookkeeper? Um, having that regular commitment to yourself, if you have business partners, meeting with them as well to talk through, okay, where are we? And how do we need to uh, proceed to get to where we want to get with the business? I love that. Very practical. Mm -hmm. So what other successful creative business owners like yourself should be on my podcast? Uh, so I certainly recommend um, one of my friends and colleagues, and certainly she does a lot of work for me, Brittany Pickram, and she does brand and visual design, not only for um, your logo and everything to do with your brand, but she's also moved into your appearance and helping you get the wardrobe that also reflects your brand as well. So I think she'd be a great entrepreneur for you to have on. She's based in Halifax, Nova Scotia, so you'll get uh, somebody from a different geography, and I think she'd be fantastic. I love that. Thank you. What is the one piece of wisdom or advice that other creative business owners should know? Uh, my big piece of advice is take a risk. And uh, when I say risk, I don't mean just randomly deciding to do anything, but take a calculated risk. So assess the situation and you're never going to have all the information that you need. Um, but certainly if you know your numbers, you'll be able to, to step forward a little bit more confidently, but take risks in your business. That's the only way you're going to see change and growth in yourself as well as in your company. So um, don't be afraid to do that. I love that calculated risk. Instead of mm -hmm. just taking stabs in the dark, if you're trying to assess the risk, it's going to help you kind of land better. Mm -hmm. And certainly um, you don't need to decide on your own, consult people that you know who maybe have done something that you're thinking of doing before, especially if it didn't go well for them. Why, why didn't it go well? I want to avoid those missteps and I want to make it successful. And if they do tell you some things that you hadn't realized, then maybe you pivot your idea, but it doesn't mean your idea was a bad one. So take those risks, be bold and um, have confidence in yourself that you can make it happen. You've already created a business, so I'm sure that you can continue on with the strategies um, to take some risk. I love that. Very, very valuable. So now the most important question of the podcast, Kakaya Vasha Lubima Musica, or in English, what's yes. your favorite music? So I am a huge music fan and my favorite music is live music. So I love rock, pop, country. I go to usually 20 concerts a year. So I am absolutely um, a live music fan and I'm super excited. There's so many good announcements coming out the last couple of weeks and months about shows coming to um, Toronto where I live in the summer, which is awesome. We've got an outdoor amphitheater. Um, so my seats are covered, but I am still in the outdoors. So if it's raining, no worries. Um, but two of my favorites that are coming are Matchbox 20 and Maroon 5. So I've been fans of them for, for a really long time. And, and so I'm super excited about my summer of live music. That's awesome. I actually am going to a really exciting concert in August. It's going to be Def Leppard and Motley Crue. I'm, that, that should be fun. Very I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Tracy, for being on. What's your website so people can find you? Well, what I'd love to leave the listeners with is actually, because um, we talked about having that money meeting with yourself, I'd yes. love to leave you with a link um, so that you can go and find it. So it's bizmoneycoach.ca, and I'll, I'll make sure Olga has the link to put in the show notes. Um, but feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, I think would be the best way. And we can start having some conversations, ask me any questions, follow the content. Uh, but bizmoneycoach.ca, and you can certainly get an agenda that will help you with those money meetings just to get you started um, so that it will, you can take that first step and do something actionable uh, without any pressure. I love that. I will definitely leave that in the show notes. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. It's been a privilege um, to join you on your podcast. Uh, I had the privilege of having you on mine, Young Money, the advice show for young millionaires in the making. And your episode was such a big hit with the audience and they, they loved hearing your insights as a money coach. So thank you for for allowing me to, to visit with you today. Yes, it's great to have you on after having a ton of fun with Young Money. So this is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creative business owners share their wisdom. Make sure you check out my blog at ragstorichesconsulting.com. 
for Money Insights You Haven't Heard Before.